nobody could ever forecast the growth in uh, energy requirements. It's something that utilities have been struggling with for you know the last 30 years. There's a tremendous resistance in the world to introduce new right-of-ways for electrical transmission and to increase the capacity of the right-of-way has a lot to do with elevating the towers that are in that right-of-way. There's generally two typical scenarios why we'd want to raise a structure. One would be to uh, mitigate a ground clearance problem. The second reason is to do capacity increases, which effectively heats the wire up and then it causes it to sag more. So when it starts to sag more, you still need to meet those original ground clearances. There's a lot of industrial pressure to increase the high wide corridor for clearances for highways, for trains, railway crossings. One of the methods to get more ground clearance is to raise the structure. So to do that, what we would do typically is we'd pull up beside that tower with a crane and we would pick from the top of the tower, split the tower, raise it and put a new insert in it. Now, of course, you got a picture that it would take a very large crane and a whole caravan worth of equipment to get that done. Amjack is going to allow utilities the ability to easily, quickly and economically, and most importantly, safely raise these structures. The Amjack consists of four hydraulic cylinders. Um, each cylinder is connected mechanically to the inside of the lattice structure and there's a mechanical structure in between the four cylinders forming a rigid cube. There's another rigid cube inside the lattice structure up above the hydraulic cylinders and the hydraulic cylinders connect to that upper cube. In simple terms, the Amjack is a crane in a box. We want to replace the requirement for any large equipment to be there. Literally, we load all of the equipment onto one specialized trailer all the equipment is containerized, which also allows us to heli-lift all of that equipment in if, if required. All the equipment can be installed from the tower with conventional rigging, hand lines and ropes. We would send up the attachment legs, then the cylinders themselves, and then from the cylinders we attach our upper cube and then our lower cube. And all that now is attached to the tower. And then from there, what we would do is split the tower at its, at its splice plate. Once that tower is split or the bolts are removed, the amp jack is now holding all the loads and we can start raising the tower. Once the tower is raised to a specified height, then uh, we put in our insert, lower the jacks, and uh, we're done. Amp jack allows us to stay within the window or the column of the tower, which becomes a safe working zone for the guys. As long as we stay within that column, then we can leave the line energized and, and complete the raise. The safety factors that uh, we've used in the design, we take the load that we would expect to see and we put that in a material that we only allow to use one quarter of the strength of the material. The design would take four times anything we would expect to see in real life. The economical savings are kind of twofold. We're going to reduce the requirement for you know, cranes and loaders, bucket trucks and boom trucks. So if we were to break it down on the construction side of it, I, I would suggest there's a minimum of 50% uh, cost savings. The other side of the, the coin is utility is going to have the option to not shut the power off. The amp jack system is going to have huge benefits in areas or settings such as a very congested urban area where it's just impossible to get cranes and equipment in. Agricultural zones where every time we go in there and compact the soils or damage crops, then the utilities are responsible for paying for that damage. And then the third option, of course, is rainforest or parkland areas where uh, you know accessibility is just not an option. There's a lot of towers that need to be lifted, but due to access or accessibility of the crane, it just simply cannot be done any other way. You know, the whole concept, the idea of the amp jack uh, to raise a structure is something that utilities have been struggling with for, you know, the last 30 years. Amp jack answers a need that I think the industry has been looking for for a very long time.
We've put a tremendous amount of effort into the design of this device and we're very excited about its success. In my 20 plus years of uh, transmission line experience, there's never been a product out there or a solution or, or a system that's going to allow utilities to raise their structures while the line is energized. Amjack is going to allow utilities the ability to easily, quickly and economically and most importantly safely raise these structures.